Hi, today I'm doing a little comparison by using a Sony A7 Mark IV uh, regarding the audio when you're filming. So, uh, for example, I, I'm using the built-in mic and uh, it is, the sound is very roomy. I mean, can you really use it? Uh, I don't think so. So, well, I'll do some comparison and we'll try to use different uh, different type of mics from different budget to see if we can get something a bit nicer out of A7 because the lens and the sensor is is so good uh, so as you can see let's see if there's a uh, comparison so basically I'll, I, will, I will do next uh, we'll, we'll try a little shotgun Next, a, a shotgun, and then followed by a, a a better shotgun. This time with a. So we are going to use the the mic input at this stage. So the first shotgun. Okay, the active one. So. So that's the one that sits on the unit, and this one will we'll be able to come a bit closer but still we are using the preamp of the of the a7 and then we'll do another test by using a uh, uh, j just a little mic a lavalier um, again i'm using the preamp of the sony and then we we'll, we will do the last test by using an external and then you will, we will compare and see uh, what's the difference what is worth and okay so my next one we are going to use the the little shotgun test two so now this is the road video mic pro and um, so I'm about one meter and forty centimeters, so one forty centimeters from the from the camera, and um, so there's there's already a, an improvement. I'm uh, I'm pretty sure will make the difference because uh, it's pointing towards the the voice. So and uh, a mic like this is about uh, two hundred and seventy dollars uh, in Australia, roughly. You can maybe get a bit cheaper or basically it's under three hundred dollars um, so that was the test two I'm using a MTG4 plus so and I'm only 45 uh, 45 uh, centimeters from from the mic so with the MTG4 it, it comes with a the XLR to the mini jack but you can use an extension X XLR to go a bit further and uh, so it's more directional so it will be a, a, a better pickup so far um, and um, we are looking about uh, for a NTG4 plus uh, you are looking at around the $450 uh, that shotgun allows you to to use the mini jack because it's got a a battery uh, like a recharge rechargeable battery built in. So and you got lots of you can shoot all day while if it is fully charged. And uh, so you spend a little bit more. So as we are going up in price by maybe hundred dollars more. So. For an interview, you could have uh, probably, I would say, the, the most out of that little preamp, the built-in preamp, um, a, a better audio. Okay, so that's that's an option. Okay, I, I think I started to lose count. I think that's my fourth test. Yeah, I think that's fourth test. This time I'm using a UHF. Uh, receiver and transmitter so i'm using the for to for that test i'm using the sennheiser 
uh, EW100 and um, so and it's plugged into the mic uh, preamp the little mic uh, input so I don't have to talk loud so I'm having the little okay little mic okay somewhere there and th that's an option because uh, we're going to reduce the atmosphere in the room so it will be a quite close recording and um, that's an option so how much will it cost to, to get a so a, re a, a full kit so which is a receiver and transmitter the, the receiver will be on the camera on the shoe mount and and and, uh, and I'll be having the receiver on me some way I'll try to hide it to make it look more pro if you can hide it I mean some people has good skill hiding the, the mic and uh, yeah so we'll be looking at uh, for example that's around one thousand dollars okay to have a kit um, so it comes with a mic and uh, and the mic is not quite it's not expensive to replace I think uh, because the wire is so thin eventually you know it will get stuck somewhere and and uh, it's about hundred dollars uh, to replace a new mic uh, it's easy to replace I bought so many uh, through the years and uh, that's a good option uh, with the UHF but I can do only one at a time so we can only put one one set at a time so it's very good for somebody uh, you're recording only one voice so that should be that should be okay okay so I will be left with my last test and uh, the last test will be definitely to to record outside so this is my last one okay I place myself right where the audio should be um, okay this is an external recording uh, my point was to use an external recording with a you know like a broadcast quality uh, level my idea was to use the Sony interface and fortunately I don't have one I don't own one yet I just bought the A7 but I'm a Panasonic uh, shooter so use uh, the GH4 yeah sorry GH5 <laughs> GH5 so I've got the Panasonic uh, audio interface with the Canon input so the Sony has the same thing uh, in Sony of course uh, where you can connect this to the hot shoe and have a higher quality preamp uh, broadcast quality same the preamp that they caught in their broadcast you know big shoulder mount sort of uh, so it, it's, it's good quality so I did a comparison by using an external recorder which will be close enough to what the Sony will uh, what the interface will give you because I did compare I had a I compared uh, on the on the Panasonic I did compare the preamp against um, a, a sound device for example you know it was close enough yeah, you know close enough good enough yeah sort of same same uh, yeah so now I'm using an external recorder to be as close as possible to the Sony interface the the K3 uh, I'm using a Tascam the D70 yeah D70 which is a four track recording I think now there's the 701 which is six track but in terms of preamp it's the same preamp so same quality uh, now it allows me because I'm using XLR um, phantom power I'm using a, a more professional shotgun which is the NTG free a broadcast quality one um, which is which can be used in film industry broadcast and so it, it's a really top uh, mic I really like it I yeah I, I tried against the Sennheiser it is it is good it's the level is it's up there it, it's up there so I, I like it so now the 
you know, everything is, is going at a different level when you have a very good audio and uh, using a shotgun. And I'm in a room where there's lots of, uh, you know, there's lots of echo. So, uh, but it sounds, it sounds good. It, it, it's very pleasant. Um, so now there's, the cost is going up, you know. Uh, so to get a Sony interface, the K3, you, you're looking at $1,000. The advantage comparing when I compare it to an external, like a sound device or a Tascam, uh, the Sony has the advantage of embedding the audio straight in the recording, so you save time on post. So it's all there, so it's easy to set up, so um, <clears throat> you want to, to, to have to worry getting, for example, I'm using external power, you know, <laughs> having all these, so you, you don't have to. So there's an advantage, definitely, but at a, you know, the, the price you'll be looking at around one thousand dollars <throat> plus you will have you you will have the mic of your choice depending what you can afford so the ntg3 is costing around seven hundred dollars and the equivalent in sennheiser it's about one thousand dollars the sennheiser a little bit more expensive yeah both beautiful mic so that's the best way for me uh, to use uh, you know, to use uh, either the, to use this, definitely, uh, the, the interface. Okay, so that was a little review, so you can take it to the next level, and you, you, at least you have an idea what, what, what can you afford, or, or what is good enough for you. So, what is good enough? So, my pleasure. Ciao, ciao.